Greetings Gravity Falls fanatics and welcome to somewhat of a Q&A as well as a discussion video. I'm going to begin with answering the questions that wanted to be answered about Alex Hirsch and Gravity Falls itself. Now the first comment is about Alex Hirsch and this deal he has going on with Netflix. This started going around sometime late in August and I really doubt that it's a Gravity Falls continuation. I mean, Disney still owns the rights to Gravity Falls despite it being Alex Hirsch's idea. And most of all, Alex Hirsch doesn't seem like the type of person that would do spinoffs. However, it does seem as if he's going to be doing some edgy cartoon workings considering the fact that Netflix doesn't have an S&P department apparently, which is pretty great and all, but then that would explain why shows like 13 Reasons Season 2 exist. Anyways, S&P stands for Standards and Practices, which are basically limitations of what can be broadcasted in front of audiences. I for one understand why it exists, but hey, that's why we all have our own opinions in life. The next is about Stanford and the blue books mysteriously seen in the background in The Last Mabelcorn. I mentioned in the analysis for the episode, but I do need to add on the fact that the code blue books was used to decode Dipper and Mabel vs. the Future's in credit cipher. And I already theorized that the new journals brought back into Dipper's possession were the blue books. Unfortunately, there was no way to prove my theory as correct since there was no indication of it being necessarily blue. However, the sketching of it doesn't exactly look too red either. Now, the final comment is about whether or not Mabel is evil. Okay, look, what Mabel did was darn selfish and I'm still salty about those events, but I wouldn't predominantly note her as evil. Ooh, but anti-Mabel. She is the devil. And finally, now that I have those concerns out of the way, it's time to discuss about me and my content lately. As you may have noticed, I have been experimenting with my channel. Whether it was doing some random video that eventually gets blocked due to an outright bullcrappy copyright claim or a mere gameplay for fun, it wasn't just to test my audience, but it was because I wanted to do things different for once. And it's still not going to be changing anytime soon either. This channel, as I've mentioned before, was not ever supposed to be just one genre. This is YouTube, not a television network. I came onto YouTube for random humor for expressing my creations and so forth. And yes, I just mainly do cartoon analysis videos because that is what I like to do the most. But there will be times where I will be doing both, so if you see me doing something different on my channel, please don't dislike the video. But really, honestly, if you have a legitimate reason as to why you didn't like the video, please comment exactly why you didn't like it, because really, it does affect me. I, I, I it concerns me at times. I'm simply just trying to have some fun with my channel and it will never affect my love for analysis videos or anything cartoon related, trust me. You really freaking think I'm gonna stop doing analysis videos for shows like Star vs and Gravity Falls? The heck I'm not. And so with all that being said, for all of you that have been there for me after all this time, thank you. This has been TNBT and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.